Okay guys, so if you're worried about people stealing your intellectual property and hard work as a digital product creator, there are several things that you can do to protect your work and make it more difficult for others to share your digital content without your authorization. In this video, I am sharing five ways that you can protect your digital products so you can be assured that your hard work is not stolen and your IP protected. So let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Dawn Marie and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'm sharing with you a living case study of everything I'm doing to start my very own digital product business from scratch. So you will find here digital product marketing tips, the things that I'm doing behind the scenes, and perhaps you might be able to learn a few lessons so that you can grow your own digital product business as well. Now, as a digital product business, of course, I'm concerned about people stealing my content. So I thought I would create a video to share with you the ways that you can protect your own digital products. Plus, I had a, an email from one of my subscribers who asked me how he's able to prevent people from sharing his ebook without his authorization. Now, there is no foolproof way to prevent people from sharing your content without your authorization but you can certainly make it more difficult for them to do so. Of course, the harder you make it for them to steal or share your content, the less likely they will be motivated to find ways to do so, which means potentially reducing lost sales and also saving your sanity. Now, quick plug before I move on with the video, if you have a digital product or you're thinking of selling digital products and would like to have a step-by-step -step guide to planning, launching and selling it, then look in the description box below where I'm giving away for free my 10-day action plan that will walk you through everything you need to do to put together your own digital product, sell it, fulfill it and launch it. No guesswork needed. So I'm pretty much telling you what to do, when to do it and how. So who knows, you can launch your own successful digital product. Now, one of the key things that you want to consider to prevent others from sharing your work is to limit the number of downloads or shares a customer can make with a single purchase. So by setting a cap on the downloads or shares, you ward off potential pirates and keep your work from getting in the hands of unauthorized users. Now, I really like a platform called Sendow, which allows you to automatically deactivate download links after a certain number of uses, ensuring only genuine customers benefit from your content. Now, many of the recommendations that I'm going to be making in this video will refer to Sendow, and it's a great platform for selling digital products. So if you'd like to check them out and see how it works, make sure to check out this video. I actually use it in my video, in my business, sorry, and I created a video to share with you how you were able to use it in your own digital product business as well. Now, the next thing that you can do is watermarking your digital files. So this is another smart approach to protecting your work like ebooks or digital downloads by watermarking your digital files. And it involves adding a visible or semi-transparent watermark to your content, making it less appealing to potential infringers. So watermarks on, the, on your digital files, you can include logos, copyright information, or any other distinctive elements that identifies you as the content creator or the owner of the content. Now again to do this Sendout does have a feature called PDF stamping so I think you are only able to do this with PDF files so it allows you to stamp identifiers or whatever you choose on these specific files so that when a genuine customer purchases it will mark the product and therefore they may be less motivated to share it because of those details details on it. Another benefit of the PDF stamping is that if you, you can also use it strategically. So you could also get a lot of brand visibility if the customer decides to share it, meaning that your brand will always be visible to those people that they are sharing it with, giving you increased opportunity for additional sales. Now, another thing that you can do is utilizing digital product platforms. So these are platforms that are specifically designed for your digital products. So think of platforms like Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi. They are designed with protection in mind by using password protection as a strong defense. So by hosting your products on these platforms, you can really benefit from their built-in security that restricts access so you can ensure that only 
paying customers can access your materials. Now, additionally, you can implement a paywall, which means that customers must make a purchase before they can even see the content, again, discouraging potential pirates. Now, I do also know that with Teachable, you are able to offer free versions, so you can offer a free product, but the good thing is the person will need to log in through a password to get access to that product. Now, one of the things that I used to do when I started online was to put my digital product on my thank you pages so that when someone makes a purchase, the next page that they will see is a thank you page. And the problem with that is that if you're not careful, Google can actually index those thank you pages easily, making it available for people through the search engines without you even knowing. So consider delivering those products exclusively via email once someone makes a purchase instead of putting the product directly on the thank you page. This will ensure that only legitimate customers receive the content directly to their email inbox. And it also adds an extra layer of security against sharing links publicly. But again, this does not stop people from simply forwarding the emails to others. And I think in that case, that's where a platform like Sendal is perfect because if you host the digital product within that platform, you can also prevent people from downloading the link multiple times or sharing it with other people or actually deactivating the link after a period of time. So if you are considering send out to find this option, when you are creating your product, make sure to select the download limit option and the download validity option when you are creating your product. Okay, guys, that's it. Protecting your digital products is an essential part of ensuring that your hard work pays off. So by employing a combination of these strategies, such as limiting downloads, watermarking, using digital platforms like Sendow, and implementing password protection, you can create a solid defense against piracy. But remember, safeguarding your creations not only preserves your revenue, but also reinforces the value of your work. If you found this video helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you enjoyed my content so that they can show it to more people and then more people can learn how to protect their own digital products. Make sure to subscribe if you found this content valuable and also to get more valuable content on digital product marketing. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and keep protecting. Bye, guys.